A new recording of the Proteus Wave Thargoid Roar has surfaced. There's also some new revelations on Galnet that have us rethinking the current landscape of the game as we approach the anticipated arrival of the Stargoids and the expected release of Update 14 in November. If you find this stuff useful remember to like and subscribe and select all notifications to see all our future Elite Dangerous content and to directly support the channel you can also join our Patreon. Everything you need is linked below. As we reported in the news on Friday a beacon popped up in the ABECO system in the bubble that contains 3 extracts from a podcast style interview with a representative from the Thargoid Advocacy Project. In essence an individual attempting to promote peaceful communication with the elite dangerous alien menace du jour the Thargoids. In the second part of the interview the host of the show, Joy Sen, plays a recording of the Thargoid roar heard at the end of the Proteus Wave cinematic. Whilst the host and her guest discuss the likelihood of Salvation's Proteus Wave device containing some kind of living component. Given the almost vocal organic sounding components in the original raw as was heard in the cinematic that seems a reasonable assumption to make. Indeed the community around Elite went down a rabbit hole or three trying to analyse the raw and look for something, anything, vocal or otherwise hidden in the noise. Suffice to say to date at least nothing conclusive was ever found. The fact that the game is again highlighting the raw to the player base is in itself interesting but the raw played in the beacon transmission is all the more fascinating because it's different to the raw heard previously. Very different in fact. I'm going to play the two Thargoid raws for you now back to back. Listen for the differences. They're not even subtle. The first noise opens with an almost guttural bellowing noise followed by a constant roar that dissipates. The most recent version from the beacon is lacking the guttural opening bellow completely and tonally it rises and lowers at least 3 times before dissipating. They don't appear to be the same noise or at the very least the latest rendering of the raw is an extraction of just one part of the original HIP 22460 noise. I'm no expert in sonic analysis so take these next comments for what they're worth. Here's an image of the second noise as it appears in a commonly available audio spectrum analyzer. Unless I'm missing a trick there's honestly nothing there to see. If you're wondering why the Elite Dangerous community is so obsessed with running game sounds through a spectrum analyzer and looking for ghosts by the way here's what you got circa 2016 when you ran the noises made by a Thargoid probe through the same process. There's a very stark and undeniable pictorial image there. The current wave of audio analysis has, as yet at least, yielded no such golden nuggets. In related news a Galnet article went live yesterday detailing an interruption to the Aegis Reformation Symposium that Professor Alba Tezro is currently hosting. A shabbily dressed, diminutive female individual interrupted the good professor while they were discussing the Thargoid roar, invaded the stage and identified themselves as the former victim of Salvation's Project Seraph, human Thargoid ship hybrid experimentations known as Subject D2, giving her real name as Seo Jin A. In light of the new information, whilst not entirely outside the realms of possibility, it does seem increasingly unlikely that D2 and the first apostle of the splinter sect of the Far God cult known as the True Chapter are one and the same person. A theory that had been particularly popular under the roof of the burr pit lately. And we are now retuning our tinfoil antennae accordingly while still looking and indeed listening for further clues. There was an update at the end of last week after we'd put our weekly news bulletin to bed that detailed a firmware upgrade that had been rolled out to the FSS scanner to help better track the unknown interstellar anomalies or stargoids. 
There was some initial confusion from the wider community around what changes the upgrade had made to the scanner as there were no immediately obvious UI changes. However today we have received word from operatives inside Canon Research suggesting that there are further audio cues being detected at certain frequencies when the scanner is pointed at the Stargoids. Investigations are still ongoing and if and when we hear more we'll let you know here. All these recent events then leave us still with these important questions. Why did the Thargoids invade 3 systems in the bubble recently? Why did they leave when they did? Was it related to the Federation attack on the True Chapters new megaship the Dedicant? Just what are the Stargoids and are they in some way connected to the appearance of the True Chapter of the Thargoid cult or are they literally just a reactionary manifestation of Thargoid anger resulting from the events in HIP 22460? Before we can tie all this together solidly as a community there's clearly more information needed and I'll be fascinated to get your thoughts on these questions and anything else you might feel pertinent. Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.